Morning, folks. We'll get started in uh, about a minute or so. Goose says hi. She wanted to say hi to everyone. Say hi, Goose. Nice to hi. I think I mentioned the other day that she'd been um, sneezing a lot. Um, she's all better now. She hasn't sneezed in, uh, in two days now. So I think I think I think she just had some seasonal allergies. Um, I was uh, I was I was pretty sneezy too, and I I've got allergies. And uh, I think it was just the trees giving off a whole bunch of pollen all at once. So uh, yeah, no, she's doing she's doing really good. Right now she's standing right on top of my iPad and um, probably making stuff happen. Right, Goose? She's a very technical cat. She likes using iPads and things like that. She loves technology. Okay. Looks like we just have three people here right now, so uh, I'll, I'll wait another minute or so. Usually, uh, usually I'm a f lagging a few minutes behind, so uh, uh, I'll give people the opportunity to show up a little bit late. Okay. Uh, okay. We still have just four four people here. Um, would like to have a few more people than that. Um, da -da. All right, yeah. Um, I guess I guess one of the reasons I, I want a few more people um, to be around is because I, I have a, a fairly big announcement. Um, I mean, of course, I'll, I'll make an announcement on the web page and on Google Classroom and all of that stuff, and I'll make sure everyone hears about. It. But it is it is nice to just to say these things. Um, I mean, not in person, in person, but you know. Um, with my voice rather than with a message. Uh, but, uh, okay, we'll just wait a couple more minutes. Um, but, but, um, okay, still just four people, right? Well, good for you, four people, for, for being here. Um, uh, yeah, I guess, I guess what we'll do is I'll, I'll um, I'll get started now, and uh, I will make uh, I'll make a, a little post on Google Classroom, and I'll, I'll put something up on the web page. Oh, good morning. Um, so, I mean, it's also true that maybe the the numbers are not accurate. They've been they've been kind of accurate, inaccurate for me. 
lately, but uh, it's, it, I, it seems to be that there's just four people here. So, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I mean, I mean, I think, I think the majority of, of us are watching the videos after the fact anyways, as, as I've, I've mentioned in the past. Um, but it, it still is nice just to have, have people who are, who are here right now. It looks like we have six people now. So there's, there's a few more people, um, coming in now. So that's great. Thank you for, for coming. Um, so yeah, I have, um, I have some news. Um, I'm not super happy to have to tell you this news. Um, I mean, it's really not the end of the world. Um, and, uh, and, and yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's not, it's not like, uh, uh, yeah, it's not the worst news in the world, but, uh, yeah. So, um, so yesterday I made, I made a big announcement that, um, the, the final exam has been, uh, canceled and that everyone has to do the project. Um, so yeah, that was, that was a big announcement. Um, and that, that came from the fact that I, I, I saw uh, that in a particular meeting uh, that I, 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 I wasn't in um, uh, one of the one of the topics that came up in the meeting was that uh, traditional final exams have been uh, or there, there will be no traditional final exams at Grand Park this year so okay so no more final exams so um, so I, I, I made some changes and, and yada 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 we went all through all that yesterday and then uh, it just uh, uh, came out that uh, it's not just final exams, but it's all final assessments that are that, that we will not have. So um, slightly slightly different than um, what I originally thought that it was just the, the exams. But um, so there will be no final project this year. Um, so uh, I, I I just I really want to say from the bottom of my heart. Uh, I, I'm sorry that uh, that you, that we can't do that. Um, I know that a lot of you have actually already started, so uh, in a lot of ways, I feel like I've kind of wasted some of your time, and I and I, I genuinely feel terrible about that. I uh, um, I I wish we could could do this. I, I think that there that this could have been fun, but uh, but I think that there is there is a good reason why why we're canceling these things, and I, I think it does have a lot to do with just the amount of stress that uh, that a lot of students are, are feeling, and that um, maybe, uh, maybe even though a, a final assessment and a project could have been really good for some people, uh, I think that, that it may... Uh, may push other people kind of over the edge and uh, and that, that sort of thing. So um, so I, I understand why we're canceling these these final assessments, but um, uh, I am you know I'm gonna be honest I'm, I'm not uh, I'm not super stoked that we're canceling the the, um, the final project because I was excited about it. I was really excited to see what you guys um, were, were to come up with. Um, but uh, yeah, so really what we're going to do is we're just going to continue on with assignments um, t for the end of the year. So we'll probably squeeze in uh, maybe two to three more assignments before the end of the year. Um, I would really like us to do a topic map, though. That that I'm going to sort of, I'm going to see if we can squeeze that in. I, I, I'm not going to consider that a final assessment. I will consider that uh, an assignment. Just it'll it's one more assignment. So the final project is is done but we will continue with the uh, the topic map i think that the topic map is really important and i think that it is an important assignment um it will not be worth a substantial portion of your grade it will just be as if it was just any regular old assignment um so we'll continue on with the um the topic map but the project we will not do this year um, so uh, I'm, I'm sorry if, uh, uh, if you had started that and if you had some excitement about that. Um, but yeah, I will be making um, uh, another announcement on my website and on Google Classroom today just saying that um, the, the final project is off. We're, we're calling it off. So um, yeah, I, I hope that this message reaches uh, as many of you as possible because it, it is better to you know, to hear it from a voice rather than hearing it from, 
from a message, but um, yeah, so that's that's how that is going down. So um, yeah, I apologize about about that. I, I also feel really bad about kind of um, <clears throat> telling you inconsistent uh, and, uh, and and that kind of stuff, in, in, inconsistent information. Just saying, okay, yeah. No, you can do a final exam. Oh wait, no, you can't do a final exam. You have to do a project. No, actually, you can't do a project. So uh, I'm I'm sorry about that. But but this is this is it's all it's all very new information. Um, like the the final exam thing uh, was just announced uh, two days ago, and then I, I looked into the um, the the project thing, and, and that just came out uh, at the end of yesterday. So um, uh, I'm I'm learning this at the same time. That you are so um, so yeah I, I apologize about that um, okay uh, let's let's begin um, so we we've got just one more investigation to, to look into for trigonometry um, so just as a little recap um, what we've been doing for the past few days is we've looked at um, uh, you know uh, the, the the coordinate plane and and how terminal and initial sides of an angle work and you know how to measure an angle that's that's you know gone around a circle maybe even more than once. Um, we've looked at um, how to use trigonometry with you know a right angle triangle, uh, and now we're starting to look at how to use trigonometry with oblique triangles. That is triangles that have no right angles on them. Uh, and to do that, uh, we need the um, the the sine law and the sine law um, just as a little recap so the sine law okay goose I love you but I actually have to do some work um, the sine law works for specific cases of, of oblique triangles so the sine law or the law of sines um, it works for for specific uh, cases so the sine law works when we have a side angle side um, or sorry sorry uh, that's the other way around angle side angle and angle side side right so that's that's where the sine law comes in when we have this ASA or ASS case and in this ASS case we may have an ambiguous case ambiguous case right so you have to check for that um, so that's the sine law. There's there's two situations where we can use the sine law: is if we have uh, an angle side and, and an angle, uh, or if we have a side or angle and then two two adjacent sides. So so that's when we can use the sine law. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the cosine law. And just in the name of um, in the name of uh, keeping things uh, going. I'm not going to prove this the sine law. We're gonna we're gonna skip that proof. Um, it's not the hardest proof in the world. Uh, it it really is just some algebra. Um, but uh, if you want, you can look up the proof yourself. It's it's not hard to find. Um, you could just look up uh, you know proof of the law of cosines. Um, but let me let me just tell you what the um, the law of cosines is, and then we'll uh, we'll do some examples, and I'll, I'll show you how to use it. So the, the cosine law, or the, the law of cosines, so let's talk about the law of cosines. Okay, so the law of cosines, um, so I mean, just, just as always, we have a, an oblique triangle that has no right angle. Uh, we've got sides A, B and C, and then the opposite angles would be the same with a, a capital letter, just uh, just to make things easy for ourselves. Okay, so the law of cosines um, says, well, it, it's actually this one. It's it's really not that bad because it 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 may remind you of a theorem that we know very well. So it's it's three separate equations. The first one is a squared uh, plus b squared. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. A squared equals Come on, a squared equals b squared plus c squared, okay, minus two bc cosine of a. Okay, so that's the first equation. Now it looks, it might look a little bit scary at first, but when you see the other equations, you might start to notice some symmetry, which is kind of nice. Um, 
So the next one is uh, b squared is equal to a squared plus c squared minus 2ac cosine of b. Okay, And I mean that kind of makes sense because we didn't really specify which side was which and, and there's no focus. So we're really, really we're just kind of shuffling our variables around because this, these variables could be anything. So c squared, <clears throat> you can probably guess, is going to be a squared plus b squared minus 2ab times the cosine of c. So really, these are, these are all just one formula. It's just, just one formula. I mean, there's nothing about the naming this side C that it has to be C. Like we could have named this side C, in which case we would, have, we would have just been using a different formula. So the idea here is that it doesn't really matter which side you choose to be A squared or B squared or C squared. You just follow through with it. So the main formula, the main formula that we're going to use, and I'm, I'm going to use, um, <clears throat> I'm not going to bother writing it down three times because of all of the symmetry. Um, I, I would really like you to be able to understand that we only need one of these formulas. The other, the other two are just kind of a permutation on the variables. What I mean by that is that we're just shuffling the variables around and, uh, and it's, the, it's exactly the same formula. So um, the idea, I mean, the, the form of, the, of the, um, the equation that we actually use the most often is when we solve for cosine of a, okay? So uh, basically what we're gonna do is we're going to subtract b squared and c squared from both sides of the equation, so effectively moving this to the other side of the equation, and then we will divide by negative 2bc to, to have uh, cosine of a by itself. And that's, that's really the form of the equation that we'll, we'll use a lot. That's not always what we we'll use, but it's, um, we use it enough that it's, it's worth it to have its own formula for us to remember. So the cosine of a is equal to a squared minus b squared minus c squared all over negative 2bc. Okay, And that's, that's the formula that we use um, a lot. Now if you want, you can, you can kind of shuffle around the negatives, uh, which might make it a little bit uh, easier to write down. So of course this is equal to b squared plus c squared minus a squared all over positive 2bc. It's the same thing. And that's, all I did was I multiplied the top and bottom by a negative 1, right? Uh, and then, uh, and then those, those negative signs switch. So, so yeah, we're uh, um, either either for, I mean this is it's the same formula. So what I'm going to do, I'm I'm just going to use this one here, and this is going to be like our our core formula here. So I'll, I'll move this one up. There we go. So I'm gonna I'm gonna sort of boil this down into two formulas. We've got this one, and we have the the pink one here. I'll rewrite it over here. So these are our formulas that we're going to memorize. We've got a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc times the cosine of a. Okay, so that's, these are our two formulas that we're, we're going to remember, okay? So, let's see here. <clears throat> uh, how about yellow? We'll make a nice little cloud. So these are the, these are the formulas that, that we were going to remember. So, um, yeah, so let's uh, let's go ahead and, and solve a couple a couple problems. See where this see where this takes us. Okay, let's see here. Okay. Oh, and by the way, by the way, I should point out when we can use this formula. So um, so the cosine law it works for um, uh, it's uh, S A S triangles and SSS triangles. So where we know, um, you know, a side and then a, 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 um, uh, an adjacent angle and then an adjacent side. So something like this, like if we know this and this, right? So I know, I know this side, I know this angle, and I know this side. Well, of course, that means that there's only one triangle that can satisfy that. So um, it works for that. And also it works for triangles where we know all of the sides. So we don't know the angles, but we know all of the sides. 
And in that case, of course, there's only one triangle that can satisfy that. Okay, so, so this is when we use the law of cosines, is when we have side angle side or side side side. Okay, so let's try this one here. I think this is uh, a side 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 triangle that I've got in front of me. Yeah, so uh, it's 5, 7, and 10. So um, I'm going to say, so find all missing angles between, or I should say, and triangle ABC, where A is equal to, goose, don't do that, where A is equal to uh, 5, B is equal to 7, and C is equal to 10. Okay? So, uh, so there we have it. I'm going to see what, what you can do on your own. So I'm, I'm going to give you a couple minutes to, to fiddle around with this, uh, with this problem. So here we go. I'm just going to draw the triangle here just to help, um, help get us started. So we've got 5, 7, and 10. And we want to find the missing angles. So what I'll do is I will, I'll just copy out our formulas here. I'll do copy and paste. Okay. Um, okay, I will uh, give you two minutes and I gotta take this phone call, so. Hello. Good, how are you?
Hi, sorry guys. Um, just had an important phone call that actually concerns um, everyone. Um, okay, I'll I'll go over this solution in just one second. Um, so I uh, the reason I, I I normally wouldn't pick up the phone if it was just like my buddy saying, "Hey, what's up? Do you like want to go for a bike ride later?" Like I would not. Like that would have been totally unprofessional. That that was. Um, uh, that that was um, uh, Miss Bray, and she was uh, 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 very helpfully uh, calling me, and and she looked into the final project a little bit more for me. And so, as as the, as far as the final project goes, the treating it as like a big, huge project is off the table. It's it's not happening, um, but. Um, we can treat it as though it's just a regular assignment. So I think that's what we're going to do, but I, I am going to have to revise it because four topics is too much for just a regular assignment. Uh, that, I mean, that would just be unfair for me to say, oh yeah, it's still a big final project. I'm just not going to count it as, as much. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to, um, I'm going to reduce the size of the project. So, uh, and, and we will treat it as a, uh, an assignment. So it'll just be an assignment uh, and it will be the size of a, an assignment. So it should take about the same amount of time as a regular assignment. So that's that's what we're gonna do. Um, so uh, I feel really bad about having to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Um, so just, just to give you an idea, like uh, a lot of, like everyone is kind of at their wits end about what we're supposed to be doing now that the the year is ending and we're thinking about report cards and 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 no one nobody like no one has experience with this so we're all kind of making it up as we go along and uh you know we're getting directives from the, the province to the school division to the school to principals to department heads to teachers to students like it's it's there's a bit there's so many variables so there's a lot of information that's kind of bouncing around so um so yeah uh we will do a project but the project will just be an assignment and it'll be a about the same size as a regular assignment so uh i mean what i what i'm kind of thinking is that we would just do two topics so just choose two topics and talk about the connections between those two topics but uh, in any case, I will revise the rubric and the, the project information uh, and, and everything like that. Um, it will be, uh, I hesitate to call it a final uh, final, ass like assignment because I don't want to use the word final because that's, it's kind of, we're not supposed to be doing final things because it's, it's just supposed to be like a, a assignment, but it'll be, I'll call it our last assignment. So our last assignment will be uh, to, to choose two topics from from our, our, our course and talk about the the connections between those two topics um, and like I said before we will do a topic map that uh, that might be considered a just another assignment so so uh, so that's that's how this is working out I'm I can't even begin to tell you how how sorry I am about this uh, I feel like um, I've really sort of led you uh, down many little rabbit holes and, and, and I know that it can be emotional to, to start doing some work and then have it canceled and have it changed. Um, so I am, I'm very sorry if, if I've wasted your time or if, if anything has, has like not worked out the way you were hoping it would work out. Um, uh, if there's if there's anything I, I can do if, if you if you if you feel upset or if you have some grievances about that um, uh, you're more than welcome to, to talk to me about it and and I can um, I can certainly hear you out and, and maybe uh, give you some advice on, on how to uh, how to proceed but um, but yeah so it's not going to be a, a final like it's not going to be a replacement of a final exam which is kind of what the project was right just a replacement of a final exam. Instead, it will just be our last assignment. So um, we'll still have another assignment or two. I I really was trying to get an assignment together um, this week for you guys, but uh, it, it, it's been a bit of a wild week. Um, so I'll, I'll try to do that today. I'll try to get an assignment together for us today so we can actually start practicing some of this trigonometry stuff. Um, but yeah, um, in the meantime, um, 
uh, I'll be thinking about the, the project and uh, and yeah so yeah let's get back let's get back to this um, let's see um, so yeah I guess I guess what we wanted to do was uh, was to solve this um, so uh, we've got well we want to find some of these angles right so um, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna I'm gonna look at the at this formula here um, and I'm gonna call let's let's call this side this point A this point B and this point C okay and then that means that cosine of A cosine of A is equal to well B squared which would be 10 squared plus C squared which would be 5 squared minus A squared which is 7 squared all over oops I've got the hiccups right now all over 2 times B which is 10 times C which is 5 okay so that looks like so the cosine of A is equal to well 100 plus 25 minus 49 over 100 okay so this is going to be so the cosine of A is equal to well 100 minus 49 is 51 51 minus 25 is 26 so 26 over 100 is 0 0.26 <clears throat> excuse me so that means that a is equal to the inverse cosine so cos inverse of 0 0.26 uh, let me grab my calculator so I've got cosine inverse so cosine inverse of 0.26 is equal to 74.929 so this uh, angle A is A is equal to 74.9, well, let's call it 9.3, okay? Did I add 25? Uh, I believe so. Um, no, I didn't. Um, I subtracted 25. Thank you. Subtracted 25. I'm a little distracted if you can't tell. Um, okay, so 51 plus 25 is 76. So this should be 0 0.76, 0 0.76. Pardon me, folks. 0.76. So I'll just quickly change this. 76 equals 40.5. There we go. Thank you for pointing out my mistakes. Um, I I can't I, I, I can't tell you how much I I appreciate it when people make mistakes. Uh, or sorry, people point out my mistakes uh, because um, it tells me that you're paying attention. Uh, okay, and uh, so that's. That's one angle. Now that doesn't really tell us anything about any of the other angles. So what we can do is we can just do it all over again um, for uh, uh, for another side. However, keep in mind, so this is 40.54, 40.54 degrees. That's this angle right here. So just keep in mind, now we could use the sine law. I think that the sine law is much easier to use, right? Um, so the sine law, I think, is is a lot easier to use for these things. Um, so let's let's see if we can uh, do that for angle A. You got twenty seven point six six. Hmm. Angle A. Okay. Let me let me just double check here. You got that for B. Well, did you? Is was your B? I mean, here's the thing: is that this formula. Is kind of it, it kind of works for whatever um, my triangle is labeled wrong well who's who's to say what the wrong and right labeling is right as long as we know that the angle between 5 and 7 is 40.54 let me let me just double check my work here um, okay so cosine of a so here's my a I've decided that a is the angle between 5 and 10 which is opposite to 7 so cosine of A is equal to B squared. So that would be, this is B squared, so 100 squared, uh, plus uh, C squared. So C squared is this one, so 5 squared, minus uh, A squared, which is this one here. Okay, so I've got minus 7 squared, all over 2 times B times C. So 2 times B is 10, C is 5, so it's two times 10 times five, which is 100, yeah. So I'm, I'm fairly confident that um, 
shouldn't angle A be across side A? Mm-hmm. And A, I've decided, oh, oh, I did, I did label it wrong. Oops. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, so really all I have to do here is just say, okay, well, uh, I see, I see. I forgot that, that they were, these were actually labeled here. Um, I just kind of did it, did it arbitrarily. So, oh, and I erased the 10. So yeah, uh, what I did here was, so C is 10, so this is side C. 7 is B, and A is 5. So A is 5. Yeah, so I guess I got that B is, is so all of this should just be B, cosine of B. All right, so you guys are really helping me out on this one. I need your help. I need your help. Um, clearly, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit of a scatterbrain today. Okay, so B is equal to 40.54. Uh, let's see if we can do the same thing. Um, let's see here. Okay, yeah, let's see if we can try using the law of signs. Um, one thing that I'm a little concerned about with the law of signs is we may get an ambiguous case, but uh, let's, let's see if we can avoid that. So to avoid getting an ambiguous case, we should try to use angle side angle, right? Then we don't even have to think about it. So let's think about the angle side angle and, and ignore everything else. So, oh, sorry, we don't have angle side angle. We only have one, we only have one angle. So we have to be a little bit careful here before we use the law of sines. So let's see here. Um, okay, so we have angle side side, right? So here we've got our angle, we've got a side and a side, right? Okay, and we want to make sure that uh, oh, here five is bigger than seven, so we're not going to have a uh, an ambiguous case, right? There's only there's only one way for this seven to to fit in here, and because seven seven couldn't fit in here, right? Seven seven can only fit right here. So if we try to like to swing this down, there's no other place that that the seven could go. So the seven couldn't like go over here. So I think we're okay. I don't I don't think that we have to worry about. Um, the ambiguous case here. So here's our angle, here's our side, and here's our other side. So these are the sides that we're going to use for the, the law of cosines. So I'm going to say, uh oh, goose is stuck here. She does this thing on my on my monitor, it's got a, a grill on the bottom of it to like let the heat and the air come out of. So there's like these tiny little holes. And goose likes to stick her claws into there and then it gets stuck and then she, she whines about it. Okay, so you solve it by isolating cosine of b from the other formula. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, you can you can absolutely use the, the, the cosine formula again. There's nothing wrong with the cosine formula. I just think that it's a lot of work. There's a lot of, a lot of algebra involved in it. So I just wanna show you that we can use both formulas now. Now that, now that we have one of the angles, we can use the sine formula. So let's go ahead with that. So the ones we're going to use are, well, we've got angle side side. So we're going to use uh, these, this pair and then this pair. So we're going to solve for A. So I've got that um, the sine of 40.54 over 7 is equal to the sine of A over 5. Okay? So in other words, 5 over 7 times sine of 40.54 is equal to the sine of A. So let's calculate this. So 5, oops, 5 over 7 times sine of 40.54 equals, okay, so that's equal to 0 0.46, 0 0.46 is equal, and I rounded there, so why don't I, I give up myself one more decimal place? It doesn't say when I should, where I should round to, so I'm just gonna kinda choose a, an arbitrary decimal. So that's gonna be sine of A, so that means that A is equal to sine inverse of 0 
and let's do that so so sine inverse so sine oops clear second sine so sine inverse of my answer I'm gonna use the answer of my last one and I get 27.66 is is equal to a okay and that is in degrees so yeah that would be I'll just do this 27.66 degrees and then now we can use the property of triangles that um, is that the, the sum of all the sides is 180 degrees so C is equal to 180 minus 40.54 minus 27.66 which is equal to so 180 minus 40.54 minus 27.66 equals 111 0.8. Awesome. So that's what C is equal to. And there you have it. So th there we use both the law of sines and the law of cosines to solve a single problem. So just because you've used one formula doesn't mean you can't use the other. But if you wanted to, I think someone in the chat um, wanted to use just the cosine formula. Okay, Goose. Okay, you're going a little a little wild here. If you wanted to use just the cosine formula, you're, you're more than welcome to do just that. Um, it's, a, it, it's a perfectly valid way of solving it. I just wanted to show you that, that now that we have one of the angles, you can use the sine formula. Um, oops, okay. Goose, you're so cute and so amazing, but I do have some work to do. Okay. Um, all right, so, uh, so yeah, it's, uh, it looks like I've actually gone over time here. So, um, uh, t -t 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 -t. So for the exit slip, tell me how you're doing. Um, uh, how you doing? Are you good? Are you like happy that the 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 province has kind of loosened up some of the restrictions? Are you nervous about that? Uh, do you not care? Are you just like playing video games? Uh, as normal, um, so yeah, just tell me, tell me how you're doing. Are you, are you okay? I want to hear from from you because I, I, uh, I miss you guys, and I, I, you know, usually when you see someone every day, you can kind of get a sense for how they're doing. But uh, I, uh, I don't, I don't get to see you um, anymore. So, uh, oh, and I think, I don't know why, but my camera. You guys can still hear me, but my camera's busted. But the my that's weird, um, huh? Hold on a second. Uh, okay, that's weird. You know what? I think I was telling you Windows is like. I can't even begin to tell you how how broken Windows is for me right now. I think I have to reinstall the operating system, but I. I really hesitate to do that, especially during a school year because like all my work is on there and uh, you know everything's backed up to Google Drive but like I still have a lot of software that I use that when you reinstall an operating system like you lose a lot of software and it's hard you have to reinstall everything so I, I always hesitate to do any big changes to operating systems in, in the school year because it, it's a huge disruption but uh, this this is starting to just not like everything is broken sometimes my keyboard I think I think what it is I think I have a virus. Um, uh, I don't know how I would have got a virus. I'm usually very careful about that kind of thing. But um, what's happening is, is my keyboard. Sometimes uh, I'll be typing and then my keyboard stops working and it just presses one key nonstop. So I'll be writing an email and then it'll be like I I I I I I I I I and it'll be like rows and rows of eyes for like ten seconds. It'll just keep holding and I can't press anything. It's completely broken. So. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try to fix this uh, this camera problem and uh, uh, have a good weekend. Um, yeah, keep your eye out for an, an assignment. Um, I will. Uh, I'll try to post an assignment uh, sometime this weekend, and I'll, I'll give you a week to to do it. Um, and then I will update some information about the um, about the uh, yeah the um, the project. So take care, guys. Have a good weekend. Bye bye.